greetings to all in this video i am going to explain what is vhdl vhdl is a very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language and it is a hardware description language that can be used to model a digital system at many levels of abstraction ranging from the algorithmic level to gate level the complexity of the digital system being model could vary from a simple gate to complete digital electronic system in this video i am going to explain about the deep flip flop and how how to write the vhdl program for the deep flip flop and how to simulate the using vhdl software that is the active hdl software see this is the logic symbol for the deep flip flop the inputs are d n clock and outputs are q and q bar here the d flip flop can be derived from the sr flip flop so this part is a sr flip flop the d flip flop additional one more inverter is connected in the input so in this way we'll get a d flip flop and now i am going to explain how to write the vhdl program for the d flip flop so what is the two table in a deep flip flop when clock equal to 1 and d is equal to 1 we get output equal to 1 and clock equal to 1 but d is equal to 0 we will get the output equal to 1 0 so both the clock and d both are equal to 1 then only we will get the output and now i am going to explain how to write the program using vhdl language in a vhdl language there may be a three parts the first one is known as header file so header file is the common file for all the vhdl programs that is library ieee use ieee dot standard underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all and next is the entity declaration so entity means what that is the declaration of ports declaration of ports that is input and output port declaration input and output port here in this d flip flop two are the inputs d and the clock both are the input and what is the output q is the output and then entity d flip flop is then you have to declare the port then n the name of the entity is d flip flop so this is the entity declaration and third part is architecture architecture is a function of the d flip flop that is the architectural body so in architectural body first of all architectural behavioral of entity name behavioral is the architectural name and dff is the entity name and begin process of clock because with respect to a clock only we will get the output 0 or 1 so process of clock you have to write then begin if statement is used if clock equal to 1 and clock tick event so this is the clock clock equal to 1 and this is clock tick event okay clock 1 and clock tick event both it is taken in the account then q is equal to d then the if is closed by means of end if and process is entered by means of end process then end behavior this is the way to write the program for d flip flop using vhdl and next i am going to explain how to simulate this is open then go to the file new design create empty design next next put one name dff2 3 next finish and next add new file new vhdl source then next dff 3 next port declaration import d then new clock next new output is q 
then finish. Okay, so library I triply, we get this and then architecture DF3 of DF3 begin. Clauses of clock then begin next if of if of clock equal to one equal to one and clock tick event then q equal to d q equal to d put the semicolon then end of end process. End of semicolon. Then end process. Semicolon. Okay, that's all. Save this. Simulation initialize. Yes. Simulation. Okay, then have to select this and then select all simulation run for next have to select all then add to waveform okay now waveform is added then have to select this and add simulators for D have to have to select all here and then Simulators first D clock, then apply, then for D have to put any one value, force value as one, then apply, then close. Okay, next simulation in simulation. Again, simulation run for. So, see the D value once again. I have to put the D value here. D post value 1 apply, then close. 
simulation in simulation thank you have a nice day